So, how to take care of your future self obviously is a difficult topic, especially because each and everyone here has maybe not thought about it too much yet, or it hasn't even started to do that. So, as the first thing, before I start talking about how to take care of your future, I think everyone should take 20 seconds and just think about who, how your perfect future would look like. And remember the first three things that you think of. Okay. So, most of you will have thought about things like get rich, um, stay healthy, find love, uh, have peace everywhere, and also end world hunger. But <laughs> all of these, of course, are very broad. And in order to have goals that really help you in your future, you should maybe use something called smart goals. So, as a first thing for smart goals, you have to make your goals specific. So instead of making your goal you want to get rich, maybe say you want to be a millionaire. Then measurable. Instead of I want to be more confident or something like that, say I want to talk in front of at least 50 people. Okay. Um, third thing, attainable. Attainable. If instead of I want to end world hunger all by myself, do it so that or make your goal I want to help feed 50 people. Then fourth, relevant. If your goal is to become a doctor, then your goal should not be learn how to play basketball. Then time bound. Instead of I want to learn how to kayak, make your goal how I want to learn how to kayak within the next year. If you, com if you combine all of these, I'm sure that you will have goals that can help you build yourself a better future and live your life to the best. A way of thinking when you're setting your goals is not to think what you want to achieve in the future, but imagine you're at the end of the year and you look back at your year and think about what would make you happy and make those things your goals. Then another way of taking care of your future is setting, uh, taking opportunities. So imagine this is your life. In the, beginning, in the beginning, you have your birth and to the right, your death. For the, first pe for the most people, the first 20% looks something like go to kindergarten, learn how to walk, learn a new language, go to school for the first time, learning new things every day, and then also finding your own hobbies. But after that, for most people, they stop taking the opportunities that they get. And the life of them just becomes a little bit more boring. And after that, they only have maybe find a partner, marriage, then maybe promotion, and then and then pension. But if you would take all of the opportunities you are presented with throughout your life, you could make your life way more full, just like, the, just like this. If you would just do the extra job that was offered to you, if you go to the trials for the different sports, or if you would just ask that person for the date, then your life could be much fuller and you would, have exp would experience a lot more. And think about it like this. If you took an opportunity and it didn't work out, at least you had the chance to find something to you love. The last thing I want to talk about is reflecting. So I'm not here to tell everyone you should spend 20 minutes a day thinking about what you did that day, if you liked it or not, or whatever. But I do think that if you take a few minutes every once in a while and just think about what you did, or after you had a big accomplishment in your life, it can help you a lot. Reflection has many proven benefits. It helps you with deep learning, it improves critical thinking, and it encourages self-expression, it develops professionalism, it strengthens soft skills, it promotes self-awareness, and it helps you understand your emotions. And that's lots of benefits. So why not at least try? And Always remember, there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. Thank you.